Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad, bringing you a couple of growth stocks to look into at these prices. Now, these prices are pretty dang low, um, not to the point where they can't go any further. Uh, however, it would make sense for you know a jump from here at these current prices, just looking at the market and these current stocks and how they've been doing lately. First off, we're going to start with Block, um, aka Square, and you can see that they're approaching this hard support and resistance line this trend line at 134 135ish uh right now they're at 141 um and you know chris is millions into square already uh and it has you know a lot of potential you could look just in the last year from all-time highs in august to prices now we're seeing a 51 percent decline uh which is huge for a multi-billion dollar company right however we're looking at the rsi we're looking at the macd uh there's no real crossover yet right we're, we're not seeing any crossover uh confirmation like right here this is somewhat of a confirmation and it failed right it dipped even more um so nothing too firm uh however what we do see is rsi under 30 um and you know you could obviously see the stock is being down with no giant real fundamental issues within the company itself so if you have uh you know risk you can take you can take square is definitely a pick to look into um you know don't be uh hasty from looking outside you know just gotta look at square from a risk reward ratio standpoint um you know buy right here and sell at 130 or you could hold it till you know 200 or 280 or maybe 300 possibly in the near months or a year or so uh, you have to look at from that point and you have to look at each of these stocks from that point risk to reward um, as well as how much can you lose compared to how much are you willing to make right so first we're starting off with square now let's look at our next pick which is zoom now, Zoom's kind of a tough one because it's more fundamental than anything. Um, more businesses opening back up is less, uh, you know, necessity for Zoom. Not many people are using it. Not as much people are using it, especially sign up for the prepaid versions, you know, the expensive and premium versions. Uh, now it's more like schools and, you know, some offices are still online. Uh, so Zoom's a more fundamental macro type play a uh, lot less than square however just looking at the last couple of months we're seeing a huge decline from square from previous prices of around 600 to now under 200 down 71 percent and you can see every single earnings report has been positive which means they've beat estimates right so it's a solid company in that aspect right it's not scamming investors however the performance has not shown that you know it, it it did go from 60 to 600 uh within a, a year however i'm sorry a year and a half uh but now it's right back down to, we're right around 170 uh and looking at this support resistance line you know not the toughest uh sturdiest support resistance line i've seen however it's there and stock is being down no confirmation yet on RSI or MACD, so it's something to watch, that's for sure. That's Zoom. Next, we're going to look at DocuSign. Another stock that's been being down bad lately. Uh, just in one day, it fell 40% due to a bad earnings report. However, you could see right here, down 56% from the all-time highs, uh, that the earnings report turned out to be positive. They just fell on a... Uh, customer basis right they lost customers however they made more money than last uh, year in that specific quarter so MACD RSI not doing too much um, however we are back at the initial price of the day of you know usually when a stock falls 40 50 percent it chugs back up a little bit uh, but now we're seeing a reversal uh, after that little pump and we are right back to the prices where we initially opened, not open where we closed uh, on that huge day of a 40% loss. So DocuSign, another one to look into. Uh, obviously a solid company, right? 
maybe you know some business internal issues uh some aspects you have to look into if you want to invest uh, as a trading vehicle just using DocuSign, you have to look at the technicals right pull up the moving averages and analyze the risk rewards ratio by yourself right you have to analyze how much are you willing to lose to make this much uh so let's keep going uh DocuSign is obviously another one then we're gonna look at roku huge um fall of the last little bit last couple months 170 180 days down 63 percent or below 180 uh and we haven't seen these prices since september of 2020 right so a while back we saw these prices you know we saw them go 300 bucks up from here and now we're 300 bucks bucks back down you can see in the MACD, we are seeing a reversal to the downside, which is not something you want to see in a stock you are buying. So simply examine the stock, watch it, don't buy it just yet. You can see the MACD is bearish. You do not want to be buying a stock that, you know, shows signs of falling even more. So you want to be looking to buy it at a lower price, right? You want to add it to your watch list for sure. Don't intentionally just buy it now. You have to wait for uh, a lower price for sure. And now that's Roku. Let's look at Pinterest. Stock that's been hurting lately. Uh, back below 30, almost 30. Uh, but we saw prices of 90 earlier in the year. And ever since that PayPal deal uh, did not go through, the stock's been hurting pretty dang bad, as you can see. Um, from the 50s down to the 40s and now in the 30 range. Now we're not seeing any type of confirmation as well. Another stock to add to your watch list because now we're running into support and resistance from the previous years, uh, which we haven't seen in a while necessarily. So we see a strong support and resistance, uh, mostly just resistance at 35, but now it's at, that's, I guess, resistance now since, since it's below um, and a strong support at 25. So try to buy, you know, closer to the 25 range, if anything. Um, but just keep an eye out for Pinterest as well. Add that to your watch list. Next, we're going to go with Zillow. Obviously, the stock has been hurt lately. Uh, we can check the recent year and you can see for yourself um, how, fall, how far it's fallen since that high in February of 200. Now we're down around 75%. Um, you know, we've had a couple where we've seen a nice bounce from 52 to 60. However, we are falling back down. Uh, is it time to buy in? You know, maybe not. You can see uh, this blue line crossing below the orange in the MACD frame, and that is not a good sign, right? You want to see the opposite blue uh, crossing over, not under. So watch out for Zillow as well. And lastly, we'll be looking at Peloton, a uh, stock that's had no breaks lately, uh, as in, you know, relief from this giant pullback. Looking at the high and comparing it to prices now down around 80% for this huge tech, innovative, you know, and working out equipment company, uh, fitness brand, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so no signs of, you know, buy this now. Uh, MACD isn't showing any signs of reversal to the downside, which is good, which we saw in the last. Uh, but it's also not showing us too much considering we've been trailing up, right? You can see that blue line cross over the orange and the stock's been going the opposite way. Same with the RSI. We haven't been doing too much. Still relatively low, but the stock's been continuously falling. So right around this 27 mark, which is the IPO price, or maybe we could even see a lower price of around $18 for Peloton. However, you'd still want to add it to your watch list. Any volatile stock in a uh, hard market, a tough market, is worth adding to your watch list because they move the most, right? You can see today, jump 5%, right? Comparing to the last, the full chart of Peloton, see how small of a candle that 5% is? When in reality, with other stocks, it would be, you know, the size of the mouse or something, but it's not even half that. So 
volatile stocks, you can make a lot of money in them or lose everything. Uh, however, you have to be smart. You have to find a risk to reward ratio that you prefer and stick to it. That's the hardest part. You see, you know, there's 30, what, what are we at? 35, right? You buy it now uh, and you're risk, you're risking, you know, $5, let's say. So it falls to 30, you sell out. Let's say it falls to 30 the next day, bad news. Do you sell out right away? Well, if that's your plan, then yes, you should. However, many people do not. They're thinking, oh, tomorrow will be a good day, and it usually just keeps falling. It usually happens, it usually follows the path that you do not want to happen, right? That's just stock market in general. Um, but yeah, we have a whole bunch of stocks for you to add to your watch list if you have not added these already. Or you can go off again, Square, Zoom, DocuSign, Roku, Pinterest, Zillow, and finally Peloton. Um, all these growth stocks have been slammed lately, especially Peloton, as you can see, uh, down 80% from all-time highs. So if you're lacking of investments, definitely look into these. Maybe not add just yet, just watch them at least, right? So I hope this video makes you money in the future. You add these stocks, you watch this, you eventually buy them when they fall even more. Um, and you earn money on the upside. So please subscribe to The Wealth Squad. We make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And please like this video if you found new investment ideas. Thanks for watching.